Hi, this is Kristen, and I'm going to show you a few ways you can organize and jazz up your menu on your Blackboard shell. So this is a sample course, and when we talk about the menu, we're talking about this column here on the left side of the screen. This is what students will see when they log into the course, and this is how they will navigate through the course. So you can see there's a big laundry list here, but maybe we can clean this up a little better in order to help students more quickly be able to navigate through the site and more effectively find what they're looking for. Before we actually start moving the menu around, let's scroll down to the course management area of Blackboard into customization and teaching style. And it is here that you'll see some tools that can get you started and give you some ideas on how maybe you want to better organize this area up here. First, take a look at the Select Course Structure feature. And you can see that they've already kind of chunked the different menu items. And when we say chunk, we mean they kind of have paired them, kind of have slotted the various items on the menu into different little bunches, which is very effective. So chunk is a word you'll hear a lot. And you can see this might be done via uh, a time emphasis. We'll scoot up here to the top and look at activities. You can see in your class if you offer quizzes, and this is a key way that students will be assessed. You might want to put quizzes front and center on the menu. Now, the danger, though, of having so many options is if we, you know, put uh, in each kind of assessment type we offer in our class a quiz, an exam, an assignment, a paper, uh, a group project, you can see that gets cluttered. So we need to kind of figure out what the key gateway terms we want to use are. Now that we've kind of looked over that, that might give us some ideas on how we can better arrange this area. Let's scroll down a little more on the customization area. One thing to keep in mind is you can actually set where you want your students to access your course. So right now, the entry point for our shell is the course homepage which is right here. And this is kind of the boilerplate that the district gives. What if you, though, want to set your students on announcements? How do you change that? Or, for example, if you're offering an orientation and you want them to do the orientation first, especially during those first few weeks of the course, how do you get them to open there? So we'll scroll down here. Do note that your menu items will not appear down here in the select course entry point area unless there is content there. So unless you've created a file, uploaded a folder, put in an image, that will not post here. Other ways to jazz up your menu is changing the colors of the background box. So right now you can kind of see there's the, the SD CCD blue. What if I teach maybe an earth science class and I want to go more of a green? I can just go ahead and click there. Or um, what if I teach a Gothic history class? Maybe I want like a dark scarlet red. I can click here. So you can go ahead and change not only the background color, but also the text. Something to keep in mind here, though, is accessibility and accommodation. You don't want to perhaps choose colors that are too glaring or that can't be seen by students. Lastly, at the bottom, you can see there's an area for you to upload a banner if you like and you can go ahead and customize and personalize your class that way as well. Now, as far as organizing the actual menu, let's take another look at some of the things we can do with what the menu gives us. So I created uh, just a variety of different kind of headers here that you might see in your class. From, again, announcements to getting help to dates. So the key thing here is to start chunking items by the purpose that they serve. So for example, if I want to start with the orientation, I want students to see that front and center, I might put that all the way at the top of the course. And all you do is use these arrows on the side to drag. You can also use these arrows up and down. It'll allow you to move items using the arrows you see here. I know I have an area of communication that I want to design for my students. So what I can do is go down here using the plus symbol and click on subheader. And I'm going to title this communication because I want students to instantly know, hey, if I want to communicate with someone, the instructor or someone else, I can use the communication link. 
So I also know that I have a help area that I want to provide for students. So I'll write help. I'll go ahead and draw attention to my orientation by providing an orientation area. And so here's the main design of my course. And I can just go ahead and start shifting these up here to the top of the page. Communication will probably be here. I'll put help probably closer to the bottom. And course content would probably be the second thing they'd look at. And now I can just move these around. This can help you, your students get a better feel of the course and how to navigate it during those all important first couple weeks of class. One other tool you might want to be aware of is the divider bar. So this is just a bar I can drag, let's say, to the top. And I can place one down at the bottom. And this might add a little flare and set off the menu from other parts of the course. And voila, everything is chunked according to a key theme. It's alphabetized so students can quickly scroll through and find what they need. And so I'll go ahead and I'll delete the course homepage since this information is more for faculty. And I can just delete that out of my menu. Now, if I do that, that's going to probably change the course access point. Where do I want the course to open up to? I'd prefer announcements. So I'll scroll down to teaching style and go ahead and reset announcements. Hit submit. And now when the course is refreshed, it'll automatically take students to the main web page. And now we can go up to edit mode at the top of the screen. Click on edit mode and you'll see exactly what the students will see. And this looks much more cleaner for students to be able to navigate through. And you're all set. Good luck designing and organizing your own menu on Blackboard.